Manuel and the Cotis. Just like every morning, Manuel was on his way to school. With his school bag on his back, he crossed the small eucalyptus forest. It glistened in the early morning sunbeams. Parrots squawked greetings to one another, and hummingbirds went buzzing past his ears. Suddenly, a group of auburn colored coaties with pointed snouts and ring tails emerged from a thicket. Manuel froze. Are they going to attack? he wondered as he slunk down. The coaties zipped by without noticing him. All that remained after the flurry was a little whimpering ball of red fur. Poor little thing, I'll help you. Manuel gently picked up the little wounded animal. How can I take you to school without hurting you? Manuel did not go unnoticed as he entered the schoolyard with the little Cody curled up in his snack basket. How cute! Where did you find him? Is he hurt? asked the teacher. Children, we are going to look after him and keep him until he gets better, announced his teacher. Like Coco the toucan that we released last month? All the children chimed. That's right. We've become a real hospital for wild animals, the teacher said, and the children all chuckled. Everyone got involved in the rescue, and the teacher even gave a lesson on this species of raccoon that live in Argentina. By the evening, everyone knew all about the habits of Cody's. For the night, they decided to place the Cody in the large cage left vacant by Coco the Toucan. Then everybody went home, eager to tell their families of the day's adventure. When the teacher had told the class that Cody's are easy to tame, Manuel volunteered to take the animal home with him, but the teacher thought it would be best to wait for the Cody's recovery. When Manuel told his parents about the little Cody, they were not very enthusiastic. If only you could see how nice he is. He is a very soft ball of fur, and he has such beautiful eyes. Yeah, replied his father. Those animals are worse than hurricanes. They eat everything in the house and destroy the rest. The next morning, Manuel met with his classmates in the schoolyard. They were eagerly awaiting the appearance of the teacher, who hadn't come out of the classroom yet. How is our friend, the Cody? someone asked. I am the one who found him, said Manuel. I will call him Gaucho. He will be my friend, and we will be together all the time. Will you bring him to us every morning in your backpack? the other children asked. But when the teacher came out to get the children, she did not look very happy. Come and see what a mess that creature has made. What creature? Manuel wondered. The little Cody. Come and see. The students clambered into the classroom, and what they saw stopped them dead in their tracks. The classroom had been transformed into a battlefield. The cage door was open, the floor was littered with books and notebooks gnawed at the edges, the tubes of paint were punctured, and even the blackboard was scratched. The Cody, who seemed to be feeling much better, was slumped on a table in the cafeteria with a full stomach. He had devoured everything he could lay his paws on. What should we do? asked a small voice. We will set him free immediately, said the teacher. He is quite well enough to survive on his own. Now Manuel understood his father's lack of enthusiasm. A Cody's home is in the forest. <laughs>